Hello and welcome back to Tingwinger 5. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a street pass relay out of your Raspberry Pi. Now I found this awesome application on GitHub or GitHub, however you want to pronounce it, and it's called PyPass, which is what we're going to be using today. And you've got two options. You can download and install it by the normal GitHub way, or what we'll be doing here is downloading the pre-made image from Google Drive and just using that as the maker has nicely provided it. So let's go to Google Drive and download the image. It comes as a .img file and we just go into Google Drive and we press download at the top here. It tells us it can't scan it because it's a bit too big, but that's absolutely fine. So what are you guys gonna need? Well, you're gonna need a four gig micro SD minimum, a Raspberry Pi B or B plus, and an RT5370 Wi-Fi USB. Now the RT5370, just Google that and that's the chipset we're going to be using. And that's the one that comes pre-installed. So to install the image, if you've seen on my channel before, we have a nice program called Rufus, and we're gonna go down to the image section here and choose DD image from which we'll create the image file from. So we have PyPass on the right here, and we're gonna load that into Rufus and burn it onto our four gig micro SD card. When everything's loaded up, you guys don't need to do this, but I've plugged it into HDMI just to make sure it's working. Uh, again, you guys do not need to plug it into HDMI, it runs completely through your web browser. So let's switch over to the web browser, and we'll see how it works. It presents you with the PyPass dashboard, it does have the username and password available on the GitHub page, and all we need to do is add 3DS to it. So we've got 3DS authentication field on this page right now, and on that page what we need to do is find the 3DS MAC address and enter it there. So to find out the MAC address of your 3DS, you go into Internet Settings, Other Information, and confirm your MAC address, and it's displayed on screen for everyone to see. And all you need to do is enter this into the dashboard. So let's switch back out to the dashboard, and then we'll enter the MAC address into the 3DS authentication box right here. We then press Save at the bottom of the screen, which will then trigger a restart of the service. So we get this nice pop-up box here where we just press Save, and it restarts the service, ready to be used. And at this point, we're done. We see it's actually spoofing the MAC address, which is how this works. So it takes the Wi-Fi adapter and spoofs the MAC address for the same one as a existing relay, and pretends that your Raspberry Pi is that relay. So you're actually able to create your own StreetPass relay by pretending to be a different StreetPass relay, a proper one. So does it work? Well, I had the 3DS right next to it for a little while, and it rolled over into the next zone, so it had the new MAC address every time it rolls into a new zone, and that's when your 3DS can link with it. And we have the green light coming up now, as we've rolled over into the next zone. The screen hasn't updated yet, but assure me we have. And I have six new people waiting on my street pass list. So you can set this to do manually, you can go into the actual dashboard and set it to go even faster. Uh, I've currently got it set to 30 minutes as standard, but you can change it however you want, and there is even a manual update button. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, make sure you follow me on all relevant social media.